What's up guys, this is HardwareHobbyist.com, I'm Max. And I'm Bill. And this is our ninth video, nine of nine, in the unboxing section of our custom PC building guide. And this is the CPU. Okay, so CPU, of course, central processing unit, gonna really be the brain of any computer. And definitely not something you wanna skimp on if you want good PCs. So um, here we have the Intel Xeon server processor. Um, the E5620, in fact. Um, great chip for what we need, or for our use. Um, we're basically going to be using the CPU in our folding rig. So for those of you guys who don't know, folding at home, basically um, you're processing and simulating protein folding. Um, so for Stanford University, basically, um, you know, they process it and look at how it can help them Hopefully cure diseases in the future. Okay, so what we like about this chip is um, 80 watts TDP. TDP is um, basically the maximum amount of energy you'll use at stock. And 80 watts is actually considerably low considering that in terms of um, Xeons compared to i7s, most i7s use around 130 watts. So we're definitely saving a lot of energy here. So, well, the consequent or the opposite side of that is that these chips do come at a premium, but they are bin tires, so you get what you pay for. Um, also, this one, uh, we got it specifically because it's built on the 32 nanometer manufacturing process, which is basically um, just the size of the actual core itself, and um, they get smaller and smaller. <coughs> the i7 series is built on a 45 nanometer, and uh, this one is the next... Uh, step in that like the 980x is also built on 32 nanometers so yep Moore's law everything is moving up okay or... um there's not much to say here other than your cpu like i said earlier is basically going to be the brain of your computer so whether you go amd or intel you want a quality cpu um the cores <laughs> depending on what you need generally a dual core or a quad core is what's going to suit your purpose. This is actually gonna, um, a quad core with hyper threading. Hyper threading is basically Intel's way of making virtual cores for each physical core. So this has four physical cores and four virtual cores for a total of eight threads. So some programs can take advantage of this. So it's like having an eight core CPU in your system, only it's four physical cores. Yeah, and the stock setting on this one is uh, 2.4 gigahertz, which may seem kind of low compared to other um, processors out today, but that's why we plan on overclocking it. And the lower um, TDP and smaller manufacturing process means a lot less heat is produced and this overclocking potential will be higher. Another thing to note about this specific processor is that um, the maximum multiplier it has is 19, while other processors will have higher multipliers um, uh, like the i7-9 series. Um, and that'll help in the overclocking ability, but the 19 is still fine if you want to get it up or around 4 gigahertz. So, mm -hmm. again, quick warning: um, make sure you have a good CPU heatsink. This processor, in fact, did not come with one, but most Intel processors do. But if you're looking to overclock, you definitely need an aftermarket heatsink. Um, like we showed earlier, we have the Prolimitech Mega Halum. Um, definitely that beast is going to be required to uh, cool down a chip like this. Yep, so just when you're, um, when you're looking to buy a CPU, um, again, uh, don't overbuy because it is nice to save money and um, stick a little bit more of that money into your graphics, especially if you're building a gaming computer. Um, CPUs are not utilized as much as they could be in games, and uh -huh. typically you'll be fine, like more than fine with... Um, one of Intel's new dual cores, uh, for especially for a gaming computer, and that's a big way to save money there. Mm -hmm. In terms of a buying guide, again, we mentioned this countless times before, reading those reviews. In terms of AMD and Intel, we're going to cover that in a later video. Um, and basically, it all comes down to what you want your PC for. Um, some games, you know, Intel processors are good, AMD, they have a good price point. So really, it's basically what you want your PC for, and we're going to be covering that later. So, yeah, this is um, going to be our chip, and uh, last video in our series. So. All right, this concludes the unboxing portion. 
and uh, giving you little tips about how to buy each part. And next, um, look forward to the assembly of the actual PC where we'll, we'll go over the specifics and um, how to go about doing that. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and visit our website, hardwarehobbyist.com. Thanks a lot. See ya. See you guys.